Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 22 of the Glorious Revolution as Dith Martian here. We're invading Muscovy today and we're conquering the rest of Novgorod while also plotting to take down Sweden and feed almost entirely the rest of it to uh, Finland, pretty much, because they're going to be a nice march for us in the future. So, let's get started. We're going to drop down to speed 4 because we're at war, and let's just see what we can get done here. As for Britain, I don't know how Britain's really going to manage for a long time. Uh, Britain doesn't have much left, in, in terms of anything, actually. <laughs> if we want to take a look at Britain, um, 15,000... Troops, 7,000 total, and, um, mm, that's a lot of loans. That is, uh, if I do my math correctly, 37 loans. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's over for Britain. Um, rip to those guys. Oh, did he die? What? You were 52. You were the chosen one. You weren't supposed to die this early. Well, that sucks. Let's get a diplomatic, uh, or a bureaucratic dude in here. Let's hope he doesn't die so fast. God damn. Ooh, he's actually an architectural visionary, which helps me with my universities that I'm not building in the right places. Hold on. Uh, we have one here and here. Let's build one in... Actually, these are decent places. Definitely over here. Does it really matter where I put them, to be honest? There we go. Those are the five I need. Our country is relatively small, actually. We just have some vassals and high uh, dev concentration, so... I don't know. Do we, do we really have to do much about that? I don't think so. I really don't like how uh, Novgorod is stacking all my troops there. That's not cool. Unnecessary attrition. But we have more than doubled our manpower gain. Going from 800 to 1.9 thousand. So, that's quite nice. I don't really care that much about attrition. Not anymore. I will send these guys back, though, because it looks like Muscovy's going to try something. Moscow's been taken. The actual war goal is Tik Tikvin. It's, that's probably not what it is, but something around those lines. I'll have you siege that. Um, uh, yeah, you guys are gonna take a little while getting there. I'm very confused as to why you're allowed to walk past that, but I'm gonna refrain from, uh, getting angry about it. Because it doesn't matter. Let's get a new leader. You can move here. You're gonna move over here. And we're gonna have you chase them. Yeah, basically rip, rip that stack. Bop. And there we go, let's grab that. Don't know why, but my the back of my brain is telling me, hey, you didn't do this right. But no, we're recording. I don't know what that was. Anyways, so we stack wiped that. Very nice. Let's move you down into here. Let's go have you bully this stack. We'll have you both go in and bully these stacks. So you can't move very far. Ah, but you got yourself a three-star general, so... You're able to move pretty quick. Unfortunately, that three-star general will not save you. Not against, uh, yeah, this much morale. Let's just keep going here. Diplo rep increase, very nice. Seven diplo rep, a hundred improved relations. Ooh. It's getting interesting now. It sure is getting interesting. We've taken over here. I'm getting a random phone call, which I will decline. Okay. <laughs> Great. All right, let's get rid of you. Let's have you move into there. Uh, I could probably take back all of these reconquests at this rate, because they're very cheap to do. Yeah, I can take back all of them. I'm just going to take a little bit more, because to complete this mission, we simply need to kick them out of their capital, and hope that they don't move it back into Russia. 
That's pretty much it. That's nothing too incredible. So, we're just gonna give a bunch more land to, uh, to Novgorod. In hopes that, uh, Russia doesn't just move their capital to somewhere back in the Russia region, so. Let's see. It is in, yeah, capital in Russia, which is, you know, strictly this area. So, if they move it to the Urals, then that's fine. I don't care. But please, not back into Russia. I guess I'll help out that stack, just in case. But this war is already pretty much done. Easy, easy war here. Super easy. Let's go and clean that guy up. Easy 10 to 1 stack wipe. 93% is probably enough for a full thing here. What's in the red here? Oh, I lose claims on those. That's fine. It goes to my vassal, so I don't care. And then I'll take these and take Moscow, I think, is what we want to do here. It's not very much AE, which is cool. Do I care about those ducats? I do care enough to wait a very, very minuscule amount of time, so... At worst, we just have to wait for Russia to, uh, or for Muscovy to move there. Or we just have to wait to fight them again, and then they can move their capital again. But we can at least hope that they don't move it back into Russia for now. Okay, that's quite a few ducats. We're giving Novgorod all of their cores back. And it's a very, very small coalition from that. So Muscovy's been destroyed. Novgorod has risen. We're going to give them this land, I think. Because it's the right culture and religion. So maybe it'd be in our best interest to do so. Also, yes, they've moved their capital outside of Russia, apparently. Because there's no way I just took... Yeah, I didn't take that much dev from them. So they moved it just outside of Russia. Which does allow me to finish the terror in Russia. Very nice. Okay. Well, that sure is something. Maybe I'll keep this just as a... Uh, just for fun. I don't know. No, I'll give it to my subject. I don't care. You can have all of those. And finally, Moscow. I had fun with that. Okay, so we finished up that war super quick. Very easy. We're gonna corp this stuff over here though. Which I think I have claims on. I do. Okay, cool. Great Britain is no longer a rival to me? Yikes. Did you go bankrupt? That must be the only way you've done that. Nope, they're not bankrupt. They uh, they still have 32 loans. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh... Oh, yikes. Let's see how that goes. I don't want to give you any land, so sorry, but I don't think so. We'll revoke from you. Uh, yeah, my Diplo kind of hurt from that. Let's, uh... Let's do that real quick. Okay, well, looking looking good so far. I just need to surpass Spain to become number one great power. Shouldn't be too hard, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. But in the meantime, let's head over to Britain for a quick war. If they decide to take some, uh, some mercs out, then they'll immediately go bankrupt, so... It should be a really easy war. In fact, we should be fighting pretty much no one. In the actual British Isles. Um, have you built colonies? No, no, your colonies are actually so bad they got ruined by the creek. So, uh... Wow, Britain is not having a good game. They have one colony. And they haven't really expanded much either, so... I could probably full annex Britain. I was afraid Britain was going to be a, a scary enemy this game. Uh, but no, there's nothing to worry about. Britain's like a teddy bear at this point. I really need a new admiral too. Oof. And our control over this area is pretty much consolidated. 
since Novgorod just got a bunch of their trade back. Let me do them a favor and just bump that up too. Same thing over here. Okay, wasn't that nice? Isn't that just wonderful? If I annexed my subjects, I'd have a lot more development. It might be time to annex Lubeck finally. Now that I own so much of the trade here. Like, I own literally every single possible um, center in here, so... If I annex Lubeck, it's going to hurt by decreasing all of these, but at the same time, I can just bump them back up so I don't feel that bad about it. And I can finally complete uh, this mission, because I'll be taking a bunch of land from Britain. So I complete this. I take British land. The only problem is I need a lot of provinces that produce grain and have 20 dev. Well then, that's kind of awkward. Britain doesn't have very many of those. Oh, they have like three. Oh, wait, do you, do, do you produce grain? Oh, you do. Okay, so I should take a bunch of grain provinces from Britain, dev them, because I'm sure I have a few somewhere. So I myself can have up to one, two, three, four... I'm not belongs to Finland. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven when I annex Lubeck, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I need some more grain provinces. There was not that much grain in, uh, in Germany. Okay. Um, maybe I could invade France for a few of them. One, two, three. At some point, we'll have to invade the Commonwealth, right? That's That seems pretty much inevitable, but we're not ready for that. Because I still want them defensively. For the time being. I could annex Novgorod, because they happen to have a lot of grain. One, two... I think I should annex both Novgorod and... Uh, I don't know. No, I'll use Novgorod for more coring over here. Yeah, because we'll use our conquests, and we'll give them a bunch of Muscovy's land. And then, uh, yeah, and then we can annex them. Yeah, so we'll give them, like, a bunch of these grain provinces, and then we'll annex them. Uh, and then we can dev up those to get the conquest of grain, which is disgustingly good. 20% goods produced for the rest of the game. Don't want to pass up on that one. And then we have the means of production, which is simply having a bunch of mills and, you know, many factories and stuff, which we can do very easily within the next uh, 50 or so years. And then we get to move to the Hanover tree, which is nice. So let's start by improving relations with our allies. Uh, you, you might not be able to get to max, but we'll see. You can probably get to... Yeah, okay. So... We're going to improve relations with Austria and uh, with the Commonwealth here. And you're over here. We're going to bring this stack down to here. Inflation's fine. We can just drop that really easily. So we're going to try and get that extra Diplo rep. And then we're going to annex Liu back, I think. Because we have that minus 25% cost. Let's get Lubeck to like us a bit as well. So. We'll get upwards of like 7 Diplo rep to annex Lubeck with. It'll be super fast. Like incredibly quick. Right? 600, oh, sorry, 762. I don't even have that much. That might be a problem. 762, for me to generate that is, well, that's going to be at least 8 years, right? 9 years, something like that? So it might take 9 years to annex Lubeck? Maybe. Probably. Unless I, uh, 
Yeah, how about I, I do this and then I take this, which also decreases the cost the cost of it, so. You can probably do that. Okay, that's the plan. Let's start uh, building a couple more ships here. I kind of want more merchantmen, so I can uh, bring over the men pretty easy. I want 50. So we're going to undergo this massive building project here. That's uh, 26, 27, 8, 9, 50. Beautiful. The treasury is still looking pretty good, even with these three armies, so that's nice. Uh, you've been improved to 163. I'd have to insult one of your enemies, which also happens to be the Ottomans. So that brings us to trustworthy allies and acquire subjects. And next month, Lübeck, we can annex. For 609, okay, that's a lot better. So our Diplo annexation cost is minus 40, which is good right now. So we'll annex you. How long did that say it would take? Oh, five years. Okay, that's not bad. Five years, assuming we have enough Diplo. Because, uh, yeah, we are, we are using a lot of Diplo. Holy, we're using a lot of Diplo. That is, that sure is something. Oh, yeah. But it's all worth it in the end. So how's Britain doing? Oh, okay, no bankruptcy yet, that's for sure, but... They've uh, paid off a loan or two, maybe? Is that what they did? I don't know how. Maybe an event or something, because... With 35 loans, it's hard to pay back anything, so... It's hard to imagine they paid it off on a whim. But anyways, we can remove that. Our advisor died. Ooh, uh, let's get a get a diplo rep girl. But screw it. Annex it even faster. Now that's forty three. Okay, that was a little bit faster. There you go. Let's say Ace Icelandic. No, okay. I was about to say. Wait a second. That doesn't sound right. Okay, the boats are getting pretty much close to done. Just gonna wait for those last ones to finish up real quick. And those cores are complete. We'll grab ourselves those to convert. And all of these guys can group up here. And we'll just grab that last boat real quick, which is in here. Okay, so, Admiral time. And we have plenty of ships. We can move over an entire stack at a time, which is a much-needed upgrade. And Britain's allied with Crimea and Ryazan, which is interesting. Crimea's an OPM, and Ryazan is like three provinces. So I'm kind of relying on Novgorod and Finland to deal with that for me. I'll actually just make them all aggressive so that they will deal with that for me. I could do it myself, but I think I'm going to be microwing too hard in Britain to uh, remember to, so... We'll just let things play out there. I mean, will I even really have to micro in Britain? Probably not, to be honest with you. But it's a nice thought. Gonna go one, uh, yeah, one for Outrage, maybe two for Outraged. Alrighty, so the next invasion of Britain will start pretty, uh, pretty soon. We have no AE in the British Isles. I plan to take a massive chunk of this land. And once I, uh, annex Lübeck, I can hit the defeat of Denmark for years of separatism, making this much easier to integrate large portions of Britain. And I should build some more heavies, apparently. But we can worry about that in a second. Actually, since we will no longer have the default tree as uh, Hanover, maybe I want to get all of these done. 
finish the entire tree, then swap to Hanover's tree. Yeah, we'll probably do that. I'm pretty sure we keep the Peasants Republic government type. I think we should. Right? And we'll find out. And I don't need to call anyone in. There's no reason to even think about it. So we're going to send you to the forts as per usual. Britain has no one to fight with. We're going to give the leader to this guy, actually. Make sure he doesn't die immediately. So, Britain itself has 35 loans and 50,000 men. I don't even know how they get to 50,000 men, but they're there for sure. Wow, is that a 7% siege? Damn, I'm feeling like the AI today. Holy. Ah, oh, well, that works for me. Let's send these guys over to Ireland. Let's actually do this. Here we go. Uh, we lost a battle because... Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do the glitch. Please don't do the glitch. We lost 19 ships there. The last thing I want is for you to glitch out and make me lose more. So let's not play with fire today. And let's simply rebuild. British ships are still absolutely terrifying, so yeah, we're not playing with those right now. Oh, you guys are not very good at reinforcing, evidently. Okay, let me just take uh, take that real quick. Again, not the best of circumstances for us. But, thankfully, we only lost a single ship. No, they lost a single ship. We were fine. Okay, that's good. That's great. I'm going to detach 2,000 men to go over here to make sure that these guys can cross over. We're going to have them over here. Oh, we just... Oh, we won that. Oh. Oh, well, okay. Works for me. And where is my battle music? This is a very important war. All right, there's the menacing music I like to hear. I'll drop off a few more. Okay, maybe maybe not that loud. Beautiful. Unfortunately, there are very few men to actually fight in here, so... It's not very easy to get show superiority when you're not fighting anyone. But I guess that is how it is. We should get show superiority pretty easily out of Crimea and Ryzen, actually. Or something like that, maybe. Yeah, there was something. They get a few battles in there. I can probably break out if it's just these two. And I'll quickly retreat. I want to get a very quick blockade on Britain, but for that... Or on London, sorry. For that, I'm going to go to here so they can poke in and out pretty easily. Let's have you move around here. Yeah, British fleet, very scary. Okay, let's make it so that these guys can go into here. I'm gonna clean up that and go to Montgomery. I'm gonna keep this guy. And we're just gonna poke out every now and then to get a quick blockade on Britain or on London, then we'll go back. Oh, okay, it's done. Beautiful. Ah, oh, they caught me. That's not good. Oh, there's the timer for today. Yeah, but I'm having a little too much fun, so let's just ignore it for a quick second. Uh, alright. 
What did I just finish? Global Dominance? I think I should take that now, finally. Because I don't know if we'll have it as Hanover, so... I never really checked the tree. I should check the tree, honestly. I should do that, like, between episodes, actually. But, uh, anyways. Fortress Under Siege, yeah, but not really. I'm gonna use these two as bargaining chips, actually. Since I don't have show superiority, I kind of want their war score. Unless I can get more show superiority, but I don't know if we can. Actually, yes, we can. We can very easily get more. I'm just going to stack wipe this stack over here. Super easy to get the rest of it. Bop. Oh, hold on. There we go. Now that's done. Just got to go stack wipe it. Follow it around over to Cornwall. And bop, there it goes. Okay. And how's Lubeck doing? 70% annexed. That's very nice. Your progress is still ticking up, which is cool. Unfortunately, it looks like we've obliterated Britain way too fast. And so, um... Unfortunately, we're going to have to sit on them for a little while until Lubeck has been annexed. Which is kind of ironic. Montgomery's done. I can sit on England for or on Britain for a little longer. I think they've just completely run out of everything, actually. They're somehow still not bankrupt. They are paying off loans while losing some of the hardest losses in war I've ever seen. Well, let's chillax a little bit. We're going to clean up the rest of this war. Just finish it off for today. Make it all nice and wrapped up in one episode. I'll just make this easier, honestly. I think that's well enough. Probably didn't do that right at all, but... Uh Put this guy in two over here. But that should cover the rest of it, I think. Except for right here. And that's the rest of Britain. So I guess I could really peace out Crimea. And you. As for Britain, I am very curious about just how far we can go with this whole thing. It is of the utmost importance that I figure out just how far I can go. That's pretty far. That is 112% overextension, but I'll take it. It's never stopped me before. But I kind of just want to, you know, snake down a little bit further here, you know? Maybe? I wish I could have taken London. Maybe I still can if I do some border gore. Oh, yes. Very nice. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, I can take London and Lothian and stuff, but no, we're going to do something different. We're not going to do that. Because um, that looks disgusting and I don't like it, so. We're going to keep our relatively neat-looking provinces here. And then maybe just one more. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's just give it a second, because we still have to wait for Lübeck to be annexed. So let's group these guys up over in London. And the boats are a little bit in danger still, so we're just going to keep them. Keep them where they are. So, Lubeck, hurry up and get annexed. We have things to do here. I actually don't want to spend too much in men. Because this whole thing is a uh, pretty whopping 558 decor, so... How long will this take? November of this year? Oh, that's not so bad. We'll wait out that one. Oh, they're trying to siege door. Okay, don't do that. You know what? You, you can get pieced out if you're really that desperate, okay? Fine. I'll force religion you. Which is cursed. Actually, no, I won't because I want to take your land. I'll do that. I don't know, revoke a core or something, or release an... I don't care about that enough. 
Okay, have fun. If you're really that anxious to do something, then you can just leave. I guess same with Crimea. I guess I could do that too. I could even vassalize him for reconquest, but that's against the Ottomans, and I can't fight the Ottomans yet, so... I'll keep your cores, though. That's fine. I might reconquest you, but just not right now. And then there was just Britain. And we're getting really close to finishing off Lee back here. Let's just make sure we don't cap one of the men. And... One more month. All the particular risks are rising up. Oh no. Beautiful. Lubeck is done. We can take defeat Denmark to get those years of separatism. And we are done. We can finish this war. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it is Death Marsh of Britain. And it is so nice. And I can form Hanover. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Because we annex Lubeck. But uh, let's not do that yet. We'll keep that for a little while later. Annex all of Britain, except for York, because it has problems, which should solve itself. No, they're just going to stay there. Okay. Okay, uh, let's chillax and let's group up a few things here. All the ships, except for this guy. So you can, sorry, uh, let's have you go into here, but everyone else should go into here. Just to rebuild the uh, merchant fleet there. So, uh, we've kind of gone over our governing capacity, but it was sort of bound to happen eventually. And it looks like I maybe built a few too many ships. Perhaps. Just a few. But that's okay. So, protect trade and leave back. Don't know if I even have to at this point, but anyways. Uh, I'm starting to lose big money. Why? Because... Well, that's a good question. Overextension? Read out corruption? No, we're losing a lot of money, though. Oh, that's weird. Let's see what's up. Let's let a month pass by, and uh, let's see what's up here. Was it really that much that Lubeck contributed to my economy? Oh, that's a lot. Anyways, well, I'll figure out those problems between episodes because we have definitely run out of time now. Hopefully you enjoyed the rise of Death Martian here. We've probably become... Now we're not quite number one power, but we're getting there. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a shout out to all of the patrons for the month of August, starting with those in the Admiral tier, T-Lord4, Ben Greenhagen, Car Newley, Tiger Pop, and Davin Collins, those in the General tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, Torvalt, and Farron, those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis, in the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot as always, and the Mad Lads in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have the Mysterious, Corbite, and the Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a ton to me, and I cannot possibly thank you enough. <laughs>